Alright guys, now that we understand the basics of how to print crap out on the screen, I want to talk to you guys about how to make this print command a little more powerful using a special symbol called conversion characters. So remember I said that C programs can work with a bunch of different data types. It can work with uh, numbers, whole numbers, numbers with decimal points, um, text, and also, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but this data type, which is pretty much just a bunch of characters, these are called strings. Strings are things like words, um, you know, maybe just, it could be one character string, but basically, um, whenever I say a string, that's what I'm talking about, um, a bunch of characters or words. So let's go ahead and delete all this because we don't need that anymore. And the first thing I want to do is make another printf statement, and this one is going to use conversion characters. So what is a conversion character? It's basically, like I said, a placeholder that you can use to put something in your string, let's say. So it's probably just easier if I shut up and type it. So the special symbol that we're going to use is percent %s. That means we're going to have a placeholder for a string. So we don't know what string is going to go in here yet, but some string is going to. So we'll say percent %s is the best person ever new line. So basically saying, say some word is the best person ever, or some text is the best person ever. Well, now that we said make a placeholder, we got to give it something to put in that place. So after your first quotation mark, if you press comma and add another string, then you can type something like Bucky. And basically what it's going to say is, okay, I'm going to use this string and say percent %s is the best person ever, but then I need another piece of information. What string do I use to put in this place? Well, after a comma, that's where you tell it Bucky is the best person ever. So if you build and run this, it substitutes that second string for that percent %s. So basically, anytime you see percent something, it means it's going to get substituted out. And you can actually use as many of these as you want. So you can say percent %s is the best um, percent %s ever, and the first substitution is Bucky, and the next one is, uh, we'll say Bucky is the best uh, programmer ever. So basically it says, okay, for the first one, use Bucky. For the second one, use programmer. So when you build and run this, Bucky is the best programmer ever. So that's the very basics of a conversion character. And I also want to mention that this percent %s is for strings only, for text, words, stuff like that. Whenever you're working with numbers, you need to use um, something else. So let's go ahead and build another awesome thing. So let's go ahead and say um, I ate percent %d corn dogs last night. Well, what percent %d means is it's kind of confusing. It means a whole number or an integer. So a number without a decimal point, like 1, 8, 12, that would be a percent %d. So, you know, percent %d is not the easiest, you know, uh, letter to remember. But anyways, after this, you can go ahead and input a number, like 9. Now remember, only strings or only text goes in between those double quotation marks. Whenever you're using numbers, they don't go in between quotation marks. So if you run this program, it's going to say, I ate nine corn dogs last night. Simple enough. So the last thing I want to mention is this. Whenever you use numbers with numbers with decimal places, you don't use percent %d. You actually use something called percent %f. Now, a number with the decimal place is called a float. Why they named it that, I'm not really sure. But that's what it is, and whenever you use percent %f, you can use something like that. Now, usually you have um, decimal places with a lot of decimal places after it. That doesn't even make sense. Numbers with a lot of dec decimal places after it. So whenever it prints this out on the screen, the default is to print six decimal places. So 141592. So that's why I say I ate that many corn dogs last night. However, if you want to format it to only show, let's say you only want to show one decimal place or three decimal places, you can have something like this.
Actually, let's change this up a bit. It doesn't really make sense. Who, you know, who counts the percentage of corn dogs they ate? So we can say like pi is um, percent F, and then we'll go to a new line. Actually, if we just copy this because we're lazy, show you guys something cool. So print two more of those. And again, right now, it just prints out six decimal places for every one. But like I said, if you only want to show like two decimal places, then what you can do is between the percent sign and the F, you can press 0.2. Now what this is basically saying is show this float, but only show it to two decimal places. And we can do another one like 0.4. This will show it to four. So again, if we run this, the first one is the default one, which shows six decimal places. Right here, we're saying only show two. That's why it shows 3.14. And of course, pi to four decimal places is 3.141. And it actually rounds it for you, as you guys can see. So pretty freaking sweet. That is how you print stuff using conversion characters. And we're actually gonna be using those a lot. And the reason that we do wanna use those, if you guys um, haven't figured it out, you probably did. But it's for programs like um, you would put conversion character is the best person ever and then let the user enter their name. So I would enter Bucky and it said Bucky is the pers first best person ever. Someone else would enter Sally and say Sally is the best person ever. And it allows you to customize a program. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get user input from the user later on. But for now, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.